So we got the little strand of hair here, whatever. Gonna put that bad boy in it. Gotta be God. It's gotta be Jesus. Gotta be God. Gotta be Jesus. Oh my God. Good morning, beautiful people. And what's up? It's your girl, Lisi, and I'm back with another video. So today, y'all, it's mm, my hair is coming out today. I've been going back and forth, but no, today. Let me just shut the. Bruh. Mm, Jesus bless, bless us. But yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, you mad? This is my fault. Not really that bad. It's. It's bad, y'all. This is built up of <laughs> edge control, and my scalp is just a hot mess. Y'all know that already, so it's time. So I'm gonna be taking out my braids, and I'm gonna do a whole hair update. Might even show you guys like my hair porosity and what type of curl type. Ah, all the good stuff. Just stay tuned. Alright y'all, so my hair is long, but it's not like that long, so I'm thinking about, I don't know man, I'm just going to do it here, I'm going to stop here. My hair is not that long in the front, so I'll stop there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hey, amen. Oh. My hair was that long. Y'all. <laughs> I don't think I cut my hair. No, nah, it's still got a little, a little crazy looking ends. All right guys, so this is my hair freshly washed. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna do the porosity check right now. Yeah, I'd rather just take a little piece right now and do the porosity check. So I will be back. I have the water. So when I was looking at like how exactly to do this, um. It didn't really say exactly what type of water to use, so I just got pipe water. And this is the only clear um, glass or jar that I have. So I'm using a mason jar. Please keep in mind that I did um, pre-poo my hair, shampoo my hair, and condition my hair. If you wanna see how I pre-pooed or what I used to pre-poo and how that came about, go ahead and watch my video. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one strand. Hopefully it's a long strand. Got to be very precise out here, y'all boys. I want it to be a long strand, to be honest. Come on. All right. So I have one strand of hair freshly washed. I'm not even sure if you guys could see it, but it's okay. Yeah, I can see that look then. Whatever. So I'm gonna put it in this bad boy and let's see if it goes to the bottom, goes to the middle, or it stays um up at the top. So we got the little strand of hair here. Whatever. I'm gonna put that bad boy in it. I'm not sure if I should wait. Watch the strand for just under five minutes. So it is 5.32. I'm pretty sure I placed it in there at 5.31. So I'm gonna wait till it's 5.35 and come back and show y'all exactly what's going on with this bad boy. All right guys, so it is 5.35 and the hair is floating. I'm not even sure if you guys can really see that. Every time I turn it, it's just like whatever. But yeah, the hair is floating, y'all boys. 
like it's barely underneath the water so yeah that that thing is floating so since it is floating that means that I have um so since it's floating that means that I have low hair porosity which means that it's a flat and flat and tight cuticle it's lengthy drying time my hair does take time to dry it's prone to product buildup aka my scalp y'all know I have a problem with that and oil sit on top of my hair mm. so is it low for I have high price or low yeah so low means top so I'm just looking at like just different Instagram stuff and it's saying um low porosity tips dip deep condition weekly and use heat to lift the cuticles so moisture can get in so that means I need to try to do some like hot oil treatments and stuff like that use heavy butters and oil sparingly as too much of it can cause buildup Ugh. okay clarify to move buildup um, Rasul clay is a good option which does not strip the hair of its natural oils but leaves your scalp and hair feeling brand new don't know what that is but I'll look it up avoid protein overload by incorporating protein free moisturizers hair, mil hair milks or leave-in conditioners so an example is kinky curly knot today and then after doing the LCO which is leave-in conditioner and oil no right no leave-in conditioner cream and oil method um use a steamer for about 10 minutes to inject the moisture from the hair products into the hair strand so what i'm getting about this is low porosity means my my hair is hella dry it's gonna take a lot more for um it to actually like penetrate my scalp penetrate my cuticles i'm gonna have to try and like open up my pores more which is why they say to use heat and whatnot. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay. So the more that I do this, the more that I'll try to, you know, incorporate like videos specifically gearing towards low porosity hair and all of that good stuff. So so now that I know exactly what it is, I'll definitely try and do some research on it and figure out what would be the best route to do that 